My name is Steve Allen, and I'm the CEO of Nationwide Children's Hospital. My name is Richard Brilly, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Nationwide Children's Hospital. There are national organizations advocating that hospitals should work together in some people call collaboratives to try and attack uh, the quality and safety issues and quality of care for our children. Uh, what do you think about that as a CEO in terms of investment, both money and personnel-wise? Well, I think for organizations like ours, which are very uh, dedicated to trying to improve children's health care, uh, collaboratives with other children's hospitals who are trying to accomplish the same things is a very efficient way for us to invest our quality dollars. It allows us to have a larger number of people, all of whom are trying to learn from each other how best to tackle the problems that all of us face in trying to improve quality and safety in our hospitals. Do you think it's worthwhile to spend $20,000 to send a group of, you know, five or ten people to a collaborative to, to learn? Is, it, is, it, is there really a return on investment there? I think that when people in my positions look at uh, the use of our resources, what we look for is uh, the outcomes from what we're investing in. So the money that we spend in the collaboratives, what we expect and we hold accountable, uh, people to be able to come back and produce improved quality outcomes. When you send a group uh, to a collaborative from Nationwide Children's, we have to display our data. Um, we have to be transparent with our data to other hospitals. Some of them are competitors. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I think transparency is one of the uh, better uh, tools in order to drive improved performance. Uh, nothing acts as an incentive more than organizations like ours who uh, aspire to uh, world-class recognition and quality and safety to have to show our data and then defend it uh, to our colleagues. Academic institutions have traditionally uh, been vectors for randomized placebo-controlled trials where we try to identify a problem and solve it in a very rigorous scientific fashion. What do you think, wh what's the role of that in comparison to collaboratives and improvement science? Well, clearly, uh, randomized controlled trials are considered the gold standard, and rightly so. They're a very rigorous way to approach answering a very narrow question. The challenges for uh, organizations like ours, which are trying to make rapid improvements in quality and safety, is that those just take a very long time to answer usually what's a single question. Collaboratives allow us to ask smaller uh, questions, if you will, and get answers back in, in a more timely fashion and be able to respond to the results of uh, those investigations in order to make the next incremental step and to continue to drive the process forward. There's a, a large movement towards putting our data on the Internet for everyone to see, both our patients and other hospitals, including potentially our competitors. What do you think about that, especially if our data maybe isn't as good as the guy down the street? I think transparency is just a very important part of where quality in healthcare uh, needs to go, should go. Um, no one is going to ever have everything perfect. We're always trying to improve. Um, we should all be interested in seeing what we can do to learn from um, our collaborators about how to continue to push it forward. So in some respects, if the hospital down the street is doing it better, we should be willing and able to go down there and ask them how they do it and learn from them and implement it in our institution as well. And, and if we're doing it better, we would hope that they would want to come and learn from us as right, well. Right. What about um, patients who see on the Internet that a hospital is doing better than another hospital? That could affect the bottom line because they might want to go someplace else because they see that another hospital is performing better. Typically, it's difficult to show that uh, patients make a decision on a hospital solely based on the quality information. Most patients go where their doctors send them or where they've looked up to find some specialized service. However, I think the audience uh, for the uh, quality data should be us. It should be internally. We should be using those metrics to continue to drive ourselves forward to identify new opportunities for how we can do our job a little bit better and then work with our other people who are interested to try to learn from each other and to use it as a way to constantly move the bar forward. So, Rich, uh, a lot of talk uh, has gone on about the importance of uh, 
physicians and quality improvement initiatives in the hospital? What's your take on that? Well, I, I think that obviously physicians have to be a part of it. Um, some of the things that I hear are that physicians should lead quality improvement. And, and I think that that leading is probably the wrong word. I think the, the place should be that they work together with all the other disciplines uh, who are part of the quality team. And I use the word team on purpose. Physicians and nurses and respiratory therapists need to work together to identify the problem. And the problem needs to be identified at the, the microsystem level, at the unit level, where um, a hierarchical approach really, really wouldn't work. The disciplines need to work together to solve the problems. So then what do you think of the phrase uh, physician champions, which is often used uh, or evoked in hospitals around quality improvement? Well, I, I think it's a term that's overused. I think that physicians need to be a part of quality. They need to be a part of identifying the problem, but it's really about team. It's about physicians working together equally with other disciplines in the hospital to identify and solve problems. So there needs to be physician and nurse co-champions, if you want to use the word champion, or physician administrator or nurse administrator uh, co-champions. And, and those folks need to work at the microsystem level, at the unit level, to identify uh, the problem uh, and determine how we solve it, working together as a team. And I think champion implies a hierarchical structure that may not be as effective as if you have a team working together to solve problems. Well, let's look at it then the other way. A lot of the, these initiatives don't really require a physician to be directly involved with it because a lot of it relates to how the hospital works and processes. So. Why even have physicians involved in every one of these? Well, again, physicians are part of the team. And to eliminate the physician would be just as a detrimental, I think, as to have them be totally in charge. We are a team in the hospital. No one doctor or nurse can work without their counterparts and without the rest of the team. So to, you have to engage a physician as well. If you don't engage a physician, then they're not part of the team. And the solutions are not going to be uh, completely universal because you need every member of the team to be part of the solution.